Okay, in this video, I did it. I finally broke my DJI Neo. I crashed it, broke it. Uh, and uh, But in this video, I'm gonna tell you how this thing happened and you know, how much the repair cost, how long it took, uh, and then how it's doing now. You know, my little Neo. All right, DJI Neo, if you don't know it, it is the most versatile drone, best value drone DJI has ever built, and it's their best follow me drone. It's so good. It outperforms the Mini 4, the Mavic, uh, when it comes to tracking you uh, with active sports. And it doesn't even have obstacle avoidance. It's just brilliant. Uh, but it crashed. So what I was doing was I was following my uh, motorcycle, my uh, low-C motorcycle. So cool. I was getting some good footage. Uh, and then when I was done, I said, let me get some aerial shot, you know, see a bird's eye view of this whole park that I was playing in. And then after about a couple hundred feet, it would not go up anymore. You know, I was using my RC2 uh, controller and it makes this really versatile. And then I go, what is going on? So I just move forward. And when I move forward, it pitched to the right. It seemed like it lost signal. And I have lost signal before uh, in this park. Uh, so maybe it's, it's a black hole, but it's unexplained what happened. Pitched like this and then it just dove. Uh, and it dove into trees and I'm like, darn, darn. So. Trees are a problem because we have lost a DJI drone in the trees before. We saw it, but we just could not get it. It was on the golf course property. Uh, and what tool we had was on the RC2 controller. It says, lost my drone, find my drone. And they said, okay, it's right around here on this tree. And then it said, play a sound. So when it played a sound, we could kind of detect it. We couldn't exactly see it because it was so tiny in the leaves, but uh, we could also view the camera uh, through the RC2 controller. So very useful. We knew it was in the tree, the type of leaves, uh, and then we shook the tree, and, uh, and then you could see the camera shaking. Okay, okay, we're warm, we're warm. Uh, and so we tugged on the branch like super hard, and then boom, the, the, uh, the drone fell from about 30 feet uh, onto, unfortunately, the sidewalk. Bam! Asphalt sidewalk, it just crashed, and I'm all like, I just took it home, said I was so happy because the camera was not scratched. But then I found out later that the uh, it landed on one of the arms and um, right here, it just took the impact right here. You know, if you fall on flat on the you know, kind of roll around and whatnot, I think it, it survives, especially on dirt, but on cement, kind of a dead fall, um, that's kind of what cracked. So this thing cracked and uh, even though it had a cage. Uh, and then I discovered later that the uh, blade, the propeller as well cracked. I'm not like, oh no. So basically I'm missing a piece here. Be cool if I could recover it. But all I did was I super glued it. I put it back in place. It's kind of a supporting uh, arch anyway. I super glued it. Uh, and then I go, oh darn, the, uh, the propeller is cracked. Uh, I go, man, that thing is gonna cost me. But guess what it cost me? I went to the DJI site and it cost me $5, including shipping, a uh, little bit of tax. And I'm like, wow, that's pretty darn cool. Uh, I, I almost didn't believe it. And it was four blades for $5. So I did that, and it took about five days of shipping. Uh, turns out these things are under a, a particular law, uh, dropship from China, uh, where it's super cheap and it's not taxed. So uh, it's crazy that I can get that. The blades are really light. They're light as paper. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed. So I installed the broken one. I flew it and then boom, <laughs> it crashed like five times. Uh, it turns out that uh, the blades are directional. They're counter rotating. So there's two type of blades, one here and one here. And I just had the wrong one. So, you know, there's markings on the blades, but they're so tiny, you can't hardly read them. Uh, but you could just match the old blade with the new blade uh, and you can see the blades are in the same direction. I put it on and it, boom, it flies good. Uh, let me show you my test flight right here. Uh, got it inside, outside in the high wind and it is operating as normal. So pretty darn happy. Uh, and so hopefully that'll help you out when you have some trouble uh, and, and uh, crash or damage your drone, all right? There's insurance for these, but you know, for 200 bucks, for $200 drone, I don't think it's kind of worth all that insurance uh, hassle. So uh, knowing that the repair is so cheap uh, for the blades, I have three extra blades now, uh, and it's easy to repair. You just need a little screwdriver. 
I think uh, I think it's it, it, it's a keeper, uh, and I'll be very happy with it. Thanks a ton. So let me show you the rest of my test flight. What's cool is using the RC2, I was inside the house, and then I flew it outside, and it was some crazy wind. We have some 25, 30 mile an hour winds right now. A little storm, and this thing is screaming. Uh, and you just gotta be careful in high winds. This thing can, can flip over and, and uh, it's hard to recover. But I wanted to experiment and it's definitely as capable as before. So, love it. $199 drone, $5 for four blades. And yeah, you could just buy the blades now. So you don't have to wait five days for, for shipping. He's easy to repair, but really easy to live with.